My mom's here. Hi. This is my session. I decided to declutter more clothes after going through that extra room and redoing it. So now summer's over and we're going to go to fall. So I cleaned out four pairs of shorts, two, two of these middle ones. These are too short. I never wore them all summer. I, I can't wear short shorts anymore. And then the other ones, I have lost a little bit of weight. My face. Short shorts? Short shorts. By short shorts. No, these aren't the short shorts. No, these are okay, these, these are, the are short, the short shorts. shorts. If they come up to my thigh, then you know. Okay. Then there's too many. But for the mentioned. average person, that is not considered short. Well. Some people walking around with their booties hanging out. Yeah, okay. All right. They're not Daisy Dukes. They're short for a grandma, so those have to go. And then some things I just have too many of the same thing. So these are just comfortable lounging pants. It's kind of a sweats. But I've had them forever and they don't have pockets. So without pockets, they really... They're kind of a pirate pant though. They come short. No, those are, uh -uh, those are full length. <laughs> they look short I can give them, them up. I can give them to you if you'd like to have them. They, they would work on you for you. And then pirate pants. I went through my... Okay. Oh, there's the sweaters. Sweater. I had the same sweaters. It is yours. Is this no, that's purple one. I never had that. Oh, no, but that's yeah. That's the same type. Yeah, same one. So I went... I was going through my sweaters to see what I have in sweatshirts. And... I just oh, have, man. I know, I have some of these that... She let me borrow this. You would have seen me wear this. This was something you let me borrow when, when pregnant. I was pregnant. Yeah. And it's just... Yeah. It's nice, but it's... It's like, don't go out of the house in it, but I have too many of she those. She let me wear it out of the house. <laughs> well, you were desperate. <laughs> and this just doesn't look good on me. I just, I don't know. The I color... have to say this color is, it looks like it's not showing in the camera very well, that color, but it's a very... Lavender odd purple purple. Yeah, it's a very pinky. Yeah, and purple. then another one, you know, I buy these cool sweatshirts I think I'm gonna wear them. This one this neck is oh, really yeah. tight you wear You've it. You've had that for a long time I know a really I know. long time So I'm just only keeping things I really like and I know I'm gonna wear and that's it And this was the big green one you wore. Oh, yeah, you I wore that when I was pregnant I do not want to be wearing that. I don't either. <laughs> it's a giant square like Sweater. It was perfect for when I was pregnant and yeah, freezing. in the winter. That Nothing was good. Nothing fit. And then I bought these really nice flannel you, pajamas. Oh, okay. The shirt and top. You don't like them? No. I like them, but, you know, I can't just walk around in these things and I can't sleep Why? in them. Why? Where would I go? Well, it's pajamas. It's for at home, isn't it? Yeah, but... She can't just know. be walking around at I home. I can't be walking around in pajamas. They're nice, but they're too <laughs> much so for funny. me. I just wear a thin nighty. I can't... I get strangled in bed if I wear something like this. These are really thick. I feel it. Yeah, they are. They're really warm and I, I, I'm always hot. So those are going. I've kept them for at least five years. And then I have it's some... A huge pile. I know. We can put those down because I'm going to give you a bunch, shocked. Of, bunch more. Then I have my favorite shirts that I, I've literally had this at least 20 years. Yeah. And I just, I was, I put it on today. I go, I'm going to wear it. And I go, oh. I look like a rag, so I'm getting well, rid of it. Well, it's a little worn out, it's, yeah. It's definitely worn out. And then this one, my favorite, another one. But they're so big on me now, I just feel like I'm swimming. I, I love the color, but I don't love the blouse. I've got a couple of those t-shirt blouses, a blue and a black one, that get the little holes right here, so oh I'm done. Oh my gosh. So but that I, is a phenomenon that's very has. common. <laughs> Everybody's getting it. Because now they make all the shirts paper thin. Yeah. And so if you lean against something where your button on your pants goes, yeah. it causes a hole in your shirt. When you're doing dishes. But I've already replaced the blue one, so this one's going. And the black one, I think I've replaced it. Okay, let's him. pause for one second. And I want to just say, what has, or I want to ask you, what has changed in your mind to let all this go? Because I remember a few years ago, you would always fight with me and say, I might, what if I need to wear this one day? Or yeah. what if... What if I want to change it? I think just being able to open my drawers and look in the closet and actually see everything and know that everything there is something I want to wear and not I don't have to go, oh, and maybe and not this. Everything I have now, mm -hmm. I want to wear. So I have the winter stuff and I have the summer stuff and that's it. And what made you keep <clears throat> all of this? previously was it kind of a worry that you may not find something or you need the backup or what I've always thing? had a crazy thing I would buy clothes and I just keep them I put them away and never wear them <laughs> because they're too good I first I have to wear these out and when I'm done wearing these out then I can wear my new ones I've always been that way it's just bizarre but this one I put on the other day and it's horrible it's <laughs> worn out but it's also humongous but I would still wear it thinking well okay I, I love 
a horizontal stripe. I am just attracted to this. Yeah. But every time I buy something with a horizontal stripe and then I see myself in a photo mm -hmm. or catch my glimpse of myself in the mirror unexpectedly, it's shocking. It makes this, it makes, just makes everyone look so much bigger. Yeah. And so that's the problem that you're probably seeing yeah. with that horizontal stripe. Yeah. But I love a horizontal stripe and I, I told myself, don't buy it anymore. And same with this. Here we go. We're on the fourth or fifth uh, horizontal my stripe. stripe. Oh, I think all my stripes are great. But these blouses, I put them on, they're humongous. I was yeah. bigger. You weren't that much bigger. No, I probably lost 10 pounds. But yeah, it's just, they just, I swim in them. I, they, I don't want to feel slobby anymore. And then this, this is from, let me see, I've been hanging on to this sweatshirt from, okay, 1998. 1998. <laughs> you 98. Never, never know when you're going to need to wear it again. I used to wear it a lot, and I kept it because I liked it. It was a place we went to to Indiana, but I'm not going to wear it. I haven't worn it at least 10 years, 15 years, Yeah. but I kept it. And then I have, what else? Oh, some this giant. This is a huge amount of stuff. I know. I'm shocked. I know. Where was all this? Because I feel like your drawers. Closet. Oh, drawers. Drawers and some hanging and some okay. drawers. drawers. But anyways, these are extra large sweats. They're gigantic. Those are huge. I know. <laughs> you were never that big, so I, you must have liked the big then, stuff. And this one, when I went to visit you in New Zealand, I bought this sweatshirt. So this that was, was over 10 years ago then. 2008. 2008. Yeah. Whatever. Do the math. You haven't worn this in a long no, time. No, but you might want it. No, I don't want that. <laughs> That's a horrible color. It's like a yucky green. Yucky green. I love green. Okay. So I think what's. I like green too, but just. Okay. What's okay, now what? What started me on this whole declutter thing? I hadn't planned on it, but I, I, I did one thing and I got rolling. I always say that. One thing. One thing will start the ball yes. rolling, and all of a sudden, and then this area, and that area. What happened okay. is, I'm real picky with bras. I've got big boobs, and no. I have a hard time. <laughs> I have a hard time containing them. So anyways, I've spent a lot of money. Each of these bras is like $75. It's oh below me. So anyways, I've got all these ones, and then I found on Facebook, they started advertising Spanx bras, uh -huh. and they're like, minimizer and really soft really nice so I bought a couple of those and I thought oh I love them so I, totally I bought eight you know beige and black but I've been keeping these right behind the Spanx for about two years now never wearing them and every time I put them on I'm like ow ow so I thought I'm just gonna get rid of them all they do take these in secondhand stores I oh, see yeah. people selling them and buying them. I could stuff. actually so sell them, but I'm not going to They're in perfect condition, really. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I've worn them that much. No, no, no. So anyways, that started. I did that and I thought, well, what else? I, so I started looking through all the drawers and then I thought, oh, yeah, I started looking and finding all these sweaters and sweatshirts that I never would yeah. wear. But the problem is I wouldn't buy myself anything I really wanted because I thought I have all these, so I can't have what I really want, right. which would be something fun, something nice. Or something that's your style now that fits yes. right. right. So there's something to getting rid of this backup yeah, stuff. I can reward myself if I yeah. want. If I find something I really want, I can get it. And, and that what you just said brought up a thought is this is by decluttering these items, it's allowing you the freedom yeah. to just move on and not feel yeah. trapped in yeah. this old cycle yeah. and, and having all these backup items. And yeah, it's and, free. And the good thing about this, because if you've watched any of the old videos, I've decluttered a lot of stuff. I didn't even realize I had a whole mountain on a bed of clothes. And I, that was... I didn't even know I had that much stuff. But the thing is... You haven't bought much since then. No, I haven't. I've So because of doing that, I buy way less. And also, the other thing is, as soon as this stuff is gone, my mind erases. I don't even remember having it. I don't ever go, oh, yeah. gee, I wish I had that striped blouse. I don't yeah. even think about it. It's gone, and that's it. So it's it's not like you're going to be going, oh, my gosh, I wish I had it. It's gone. Yeah, and I find, too, even if I see myself in a photo and think, oh, I why didn't mm -hmm. I keep that sweater? And you know what I tell myself is... There was a reason. Maybe yeah. I don't remember <clears throat> the exact yeah. reason, but there was a reason why I got rid of that. Maybe it didn't fit anymore, looked worn out, yeah. or felt funny, uncomfortable, yeah. but there was a reason, and you have to just know that whatever the reason was, it was a good one, and you move on from that. Well, it's funny. That very first black shirt I brought out to show you that I got rid of, it had that plastic stitching in it, and uh, I put it on today, and it started scratching my neck again. I used to wear it all the time, enduring that pain of that scratch 
scratch constantly. I put it on, I thought, okay, I'm done. I'm not wearing that scratchy yeah. old worn out shirt anymore. So. I find this just amazing because <laughs> just a few years ago when we started decluttering some of your stuff, you would hold on to things. And I yeah. said, why do you need that? Does You don't even wear it. Why do you need that? It has a, Someday. you know, it doesn't fit right. And you would say, well, I'm kidding. I don't care. Someday. And so I think <laughs> this is just such progress. Yeah, it is. It and is. especially the thought process of now, I feel this is exactly how I think of only having the stuff you truly love that yeah. you know fits, is comfortable, looks good on you, yeah. and you can just grab anything and know. Yeah. Put it on. You don't have to wonder, is it going to yeah. fit today? Right. Exactly. So that's awesome. Yeah. So oh I'm going to go gosh. to the thrift store and hopefully We're going to donate all of this I and know, we'll, all we'll this. toss out the stuff that's maybe really bad. Yeah. The yeah. only stuff she's going to toss out. The black but, blouse. Yeah. Uh, look at all stuff this. that can be donated, we will donate. Thanks for watching. Hope we helped. Leave me any questions you have <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.